so, as any Mortal Kombat fan in the community knows. You have a high opinion of yourself. I've earned it. Combat Pack 2 was revealed today. I was away, I didn't get to see it until a good two minutes ago. Didn't have time to give you a trailer reaction, but if you saw it, holy shit, there'd be a lot of profanity. I have one, alright. You know what? If you don't know who's in the Combat Pack 2, I'm about to go over it right now. You got Bo Raicho, I predicted that. Then you have Leatherface, Xenomorph, which is a fusion between him and Baraka right now, it seems, and Smoke slash Cyrax slash Sector. And I'm gonna flash an image on screen right now of what they all look like, and they're pretty much posed right there. Alright, now that you've seen that, and you've seen the characters, and you're probably fucking hyped, I'm over here and I'm just thinking, why? Why? I mean, I'm, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm hyped for this compact. It's always great to have new characters. I mean, it's just, right now, I'm pissed over who those characters are. Like, I'm excited to play as all of them. I think it'll be some interesting gameplay. But the fucking choices of who the characters could be. Really? Really? We need two guest characters. Really? We, cause, cause, yeah, we need Leatherface and we need Xenomorph Baraka. Yeah, that fucking makes sense. In a game where you had so many NPCs, so many NPCs in the story mode that really deserve to be playable in this game, you decide to add guest characters? Really, what a fucking cop out. What pisses me off is it means that, the, as Jared would say, the casuals won. Call me Jared the dog. I'm 4 1 years old and I'm about to fucking flip shit. Really? Two guest characters. Like, some people, you know what? Some people aren't casuals and they enjoy the fresh take over those guest characters. But this isn't Super Smash Brothers Violent Edition or fucking the Barbie Playhouse Violent Edition. No. This is Mortal Kombat, and I don't need Leatherface and all these horror movie guys showing up. Like, it's cool with Jason. Jason, you know what? You had Freddy in the last game, keep Jason in this one. I'm okay with that. Predator, stretching it, but you know what? It's the first combat pack, they need to get some interest. But for the second combat pack, in a game where you could have thrown in Fujin, Serena, Baraka, hell, even Sindel, because she's got a fan base somehow. Any of those people, and even more, you could throw in Rain if you really felt like it. You decide, hmm, let's add the two guest characters that have never made an appearance in Mortal Kombat X just so that we can get that Predator or Alien vs. Predator fucking match, dream match shit. No. And just to let you know, if you haven't noticed by now, at this point in the video, what, like th two or three minutes in, if that. This is gonna be a fucking rant, alright? I'm gonna do an analysis once my head is all cleared, and it's probably gonna be tomorrow gonna go over the I can't do a trailer analysis cuz I don't have any I don't have the footage my computer is really annoying so I'm not able to get it at the moment but I'll give you a trailer and I'll give you just from the image the analysis that I've gotten and some images thrown in but right now I'm just ranting getting this all off my fucking chest because I'm pissed about this all right and you know what sucks too who the non-guest characters are you got si you got the cyborgs I'll just call them smoke sector and cyrax and you got Bo Raicho. What pisses me off, and I love Bo Raicho, to be completely honest with you. Bo Raicho, I think, is a ca I, I love, I'm, I really like that Bo Raicho is in this game. But not anymore, okay? Because when I first saw it and I knew it was Bo Raicho, because nobody else looks like Bo Raicho in, that, in the silhouette image, I was like, oh, sick, Bo Raicho's in the game. He's gonna be with all these other characters. No, if you, that means that they had a choice. They had a choice. They were like, all right, we're gonna put one NPC in the game. <laughs> Yeah, let's throw in Bo Raicho. What the fuck? I don't even know what his boost set's gonna be or anything. Like, really? You have guys like Fujin, and if, you know what's funny? I just realized I'm doing a rant on guest characters, playing as a guest character in this video. I think I'm Jason, actually. But whatever. It's it's just fucking retarded. Why would you choose Bo Raicho when you could have chosen people like Serena for at the least, or Frost, or Fujin? But no, Bo Raicho? And then, like, it would have been okay if that sec- if one of those characters thoughts was also taken up by a guy like Fujin, or a girl like Serena, or Frost. No, we're just gonna throw in these stupid fucking guest characters so we can get more money. Ed Boon, I thought you were better than this. I mean, I'm- I- I shouldn't be saying that, because I love Ed Boon to death, he's my favorite game developer of all time, without a doubt. Seriously, Ed Boon's the man, but still, this is just ludicrous, alright? Like, I would have even taken Rain as DLC. I kind of wanted Rain as DLC. And that would have been a bit of a cash grab, too, because he should have been free. But I would have fucking taken that. Because at least that's a Mortal Kombat character. At least that's somebody that's in the game that everybody wants to play as, alright? I wasn't too excited to see Baraka. 
Just gonna, just gonna be honest. So, I'm okay that one of those roster spot spots is in Baraka, but d why did it have to be a Xenomorph and not just a Xenomorph, a Xenomorph mixed with Baraka? What the fuck is that? Ed Boon, what are you on right now? A Xenomorph Baraka? This ain't some f what the f- My god. I feel like I sound like Leafy is here just with that, but like, really? Xenomorph Baraka with the fucking Leatherface? You couldn't have done, like, Michael Myers? Like, who the fuck's dream match for horror is Leatherface and Jason? No, it's it's Freddy versus Jason. And if we're not gonna have Freddy, I can understand that because he was in the last game. But at least someone Michael Myers, because that's the second best option. But really? 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 We're gonna say that Leatherface is the best option for a horror movie guest character. <laughs> okay, all right, that's cute. That's real fucking cute. You know what, Xenomorph? I can, if you really need that extra guest character in there to maybe garner some more attention, sure, fine, whatever. Throw in the Xenomorph so we can at least do Freddy, v I mean, um, Alien vs. Predator. But, uh, no, don't, don't fucking throw in Leatherface too. What the fuck is, like, Leatherface? The fuck? His projectile, I can already tell, is gonna be bitchy as fuck. He's gonna be throwing his chainsaw, which is gonna be a big projectile, so the only way to get out of it is really to crouch or time it perfectly. And that's gonna piss me off. It's gonna be like Jason's machete. Oh my god, I can't- I- I'm so fucking mad right now. Why? Why? Like, for five- for like three minutes before I made the video, I was just saying why. Why? Why? Why the fuck do you have two guest characters? And this- I'm not normally this mad. This was my worst fears imagined, honestly. Re like, this was really my worst fears for the combat pack 2. This is what I was fearing when I saw that little, when I saw the second silhouette that nobody could really guess if it was Sindel or somebody. Some people said it was Xenomorph, and they were right. Congrats on them for having better eyes than I do. I, are, I said, you can dislike the shit out of my analysis video because it was completely wrong other than Boraicho. Oh, I can't fucking believe this though. Like, oh, I, this was my worst fear. I knew when I saw that silhouette, I was like, no. If they put Xenomorph in it, I'm gonna flip shit. And they did. And then, which, which silhouette even was Leatherface? Like, I can't believe he must have been Fujin in the back. I don't know. But that was just, oh my god. I've never been this pissed off at a Mortal Kombat announcement in a vis ever. Actually, I've never. I mean. I can't believe this. Like, even the Sector Cyrax smoke thing is fucking retarded. Great, we have a variation for each character. You could. That's how. That's what it's gonna be. One variation is Sector. One variation is smoke. One variation is Cyrax. That simple. And it's fucking bullshit. Give me them as individual characters with their own moves. I don't need three variation shit for those great characters. All right. Like, it does it, like, if you're gonna add that, why not just make the Combat Pack 2, or make a Combat Pack 3? Which, by the way, I seriously doubt they're gonna make. I, I honestly wanna know, if there's some of you who have made it this far in the video, my fucking loud-ass screaming or whatever, and you are hyped for this Combat Pack 2, you're hyped to see these two characters that, I mean, I can understand if you're hyped for Smoke, Cyrax, Sector, I got really... No problem, I was just kind of nitpicking there. But if you really wanted to see Xenomorph and Leatherface, then what the fuck are you doing? Seriously. I mean, I, I respect to your opinion, but Ding Dong, your opinion is wrong. I mean, not really, I'm just kidding. It's each their own. But, really. This is just... Ins <sighs> fucking pisses me off. Uh, it's... It's really just... Really... Really... Fucking retarded. Okay, well if you made it this far into the video and didn't click off already or dislike it already for my views, um, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below your opinion on this new combat pack too, and subscribe for more awesome Mortal Kombat content, most likely without any more yelling th of this caliber in the future. Also, stick around later on, probably tomorrow or the next day when you can get an analysis for the combat pack too. Once again, as I've said before, my name is Tyler. And I am out. Sub-Zero. Ah!